Hello guys, welcome to learning microcontrollers. Today I am going to give you a basic introduction to legendary microchip still in production microcontroller called PIC 16 fa 7 a So let's get started. Let me tell you what PIC stands for. PIC stands for Peripheral Interface Controller. You, as you can see, you can see a PIC 16 fa 7 a DIP version. It is also available in SMD version as well, but for the beginners and and learning level DIP is the best so we will go with the DIP one uh, as the name suggests pick 16 fa 7 a there is a word letter called F in it F stands for flash A stands for advanced flash means it can be programmed using a flash memory so we do have picket 3 burner which is basically a flash way of burning a microcontroller so it is very fast and very quick so advanced stands for like it has advanced memory structure not all the PIC microcontrollers have it but this 2.5 dollar microcontroller has it so let's come to some main features it has like 40 pins as you can see on the screen there are 40 pins which are divided into you can say five ports you have port a b c d e these are total five ports port a and e have eight pins a has five e has three total eight Port C has 8 pins, C0 to C7. Port B has 8 pins, B0 to B7. Port D has 8 pins, D0 to D7. So, 3 ports, 8 pins each, 1 port, 3 pins, and a port A has 5 pins. So, let's see how many ADC pins we have. We have like 8 ADC pins. They are located at port A and E. Port A and E represent ADC ports they are totally adc you can connect any sensor or any device requiring adc conversion at these pins from pin a0 to a5 and e0 to e2 we have like 24 digital pins apart from these eight adc pins they are port b port c port d eight pins each port b c d are digital ports as you can see next thing is if we add a0 to A5 and E0 to E2, these are basically ADC pins, but the great thing is they can also be used at di digital as well. So if we add these 8 pins as well, we have like 32 digital pins in just a 2.5 dollar microcontroller. So let's come to some special protocols. There are totally three world's most used protocols available in any microcontroller. They, they are like I square C, SPI and UART. These three protocols are backbone of any microcontroller to interface external modules. So first let's go with UART1. UART stands for Universal Asynchronous Receiver and Transmitter. It requires basically two pins to operate named as TX transmitter and RX pin receiver pin. On the PIC16 F8770 microcontroller they are located at pin number 25 which is the transmitter pin and 26 which is the RX pin. By using these two pins you can connect any UART module or UART device with a PIC 16 fa 7 a even when you connect a PIC to a computer you need this protocol so the great thing is PIC has it now the next one is SPI which stands for serial peripheral interface it requires three pins to operate which are named as slave in slave out and clock on the data sheet slave in pin is also named at SDI slave out is called SDO and clock is called CLK on the pick they are located at S SDI or the slave in pin is the port C pin number 4 or 23 pin of the pick 16 fa 7 m microcontroller pin number 24 or the port C pin number 5 is the slave out pin uh, STO it's a pin number 24 and the clock pin is located at C3 which is port C pin number 3 or pin number 18 of the pick microcontroller so by using these three pins you can interface any SPI module or device with a PIC16 fa 7 a microcontroller. And th then the last and one of the mostly used protocol is the I2C protocol. It is not very easy to use but I will show you in my video how to use it. It will become easy for you. It stands for inter-integrated circuit. It requires basically two pins to operate. On the data sheet they are named as, as SDA and SCLK or CL SCL but whatever they are named as they are named as data line pin and the clock line pin the data line pin on the PIC16 FA77A microcontroller is located at pin number 23 
that is the data line and the clock line is located at pin number 18. So by using these two pins you can interface any I square C inter integrated circuit module device or sensor with the PIC16 microcontroller. And let's come to some basic functions like timers, interrupts and PWM. In the PIC16 FA77A we have three timers, timer 0 which is 8 bit, timer 2 which is also 8 bit, timer 1 which is 16 bit. Right now this is enough for you to know this, it's a, it's a basic introduction. In the future videos I will show you how to use this and what we mean by 8 bit and 16 bit and 8 bit in detail. And the next thing we have our interrupt, alright, before that let me tell you these timers can be configured with any pin of the PIC16 FA77A microcontroller internally by using coding. I will show you this in my future videos. And interrupt pins uh, requires a special pin to work. You cannot use interrupt or you cannot use external interrupt with any pin as you like. That special pin is located at pin number 33 which is port B pin number 0. This is an external interrupt pin on the PIC16 FA77A microcontroller. And the last one is a PWM. PWM stands for Pulse Width Modulation. You have two very powerful PWM available on the PIC16 FA77A which are located at pin number 17 and 18. Pin number 18 is the PWM1 on the data sheet. It is named at CCP1 and pin number 17 is the PWM2 and on the data sheet it is named as CCP2. Guys, this is just a basic introduction. So I hope you guys got familiar with the PIC. In my future videos, I will tell you how to set up this PIC. All you need is a micro C for PIC program, a Proteus program right now, and you will get a grip on the PIC using my channel. So guys, I believe you learned something from this channel. So meet you in the next video. So have a nice day. Until then.